Hey guys, welcome to Indie Game Hustle. My name is Charles, and in this video, we're going to get started with setting up your Unity project with some of the different assets that we're gonna need to start kind of thinking and building our first game. And what we wanna build is a simple platformer. And uh, to get started, uh, the first thing you want to do is think about which version of Unity you want to use. Now, Unity has been doing a great job with coming up with new updates, and they have recently are now in the LTS of uh, 2019.4. And so I think that may be the best way for us to start this project off. Let's just go ahead and start it off with a bang there. And so if you haven't already installed 2019.4, uh, you want to just open up your Unity HUD and head over to the left side here where it says installs and you simply want to go to add and when you go to add if you don't already have it installed it's going to be uh, give you the option to click this uh, little circular area and you can add it there okay but once you have all that good to go and you have it installed it'll look just like this head back over to projects and what we want to do is start a new so go ahead and click on new okay and it's gonna go ahead and put us in the newest version, but if it doesn't, for whatever reason, just hit this drop down and select the version that you need to get. So we're gonna just go ahead and do that one. Now, this is where we have to decide what type of game it's gonna be, or at least what type of uh, uh, graphics engine, I guess, or whatever uh, you want to start with. Um, this is not a 2D game. It's gonna be a 3D platforming game where you have a character uh, jumping around kind of like a Mario, you know, kind of just jumping around in the scene and we're going to collect items and save the uh, The damsel in distress, you know that type of thing. So uh, what we want to do is select a 3d template um, But then you have to think are you is going to be high-definition render pipeline or is it going to be? Uh, URP or the universal render pipeline or is it going to be the standard pipeline the standard rendering engine I think personally, I think it would be in your best interest maybe to start with Universal. I know I'm pretty sure that Unity is pretty much going to uh, be, you know, Universal or URP is going to be the standard going forward in the future. So I would probably recommend just going with URP for this project. Um, the great thing about going with URP um, in this project is really because it also, I believe, gives you access to the shader graph. Um, as well and so that's going to be great and it also has uh, some post-processing effects that have been made a little better I think um, in the URP pipeline and we'll learn together as we go through this process but um, go ahead and select universal render pipeline next thing we want to do is go ahead and name the project um, I'm going to think of a name right now uh, that name could be let's see um, I don't know what the name's going to be, but we can call it Robot Boy. Robot Boy saves the day. Maybe Robot Boy Project. We'll just call it Robot Boy Project for now. Um, and uh, and then you want to go ahead and select the location where you're going to save your uh, Unity file for this project. All right. Great. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go hit Create, and it's going to load right up. So I'll go ahead and speed up the video and we'll skip on to the next thing. All right, great. So um, once you get everything um, installed, this is gonna be what your page looks like. You might also be still waiting on the baking to complete. Um, in the bottom right corner, you might see some, some bars here kind of showing you the process or the progress of the baking. Um, but once that's done, your scene will be pretty much standard here. This is a standard URP uh, kind of template or uh, just kind of like a base scene that just comes with it. Um, of course, we're not going to be using any of this, but it is here. All right. So the next thing um, what we want to do is evaluate kind of what are we going to be using to build the game out, right? So um, I'm thinking we're going to be using Game Creator, of course. Um, that's going to be our the main part of this whole tutorial. It is a Game Creator tutorial so um, of course we're going to go ahead and install that um, we're also going to install pro builder 
um, and we're going to install some other things like shader graph or send machine and I believe shader graph might already be installed because I believe it comes with the universal render pipeline but we'll just double check that but uh, let's go ahead and get started with installing um, game creator so when you're installing game creator um, there's a couple ways to do it uh, the way that we're used to doing it is going into window and heading over to the asset store um, and it will pull up this tab but I'm going to say that this is a fine way to do it there's nothing wrong with using this um, but I would like to get into the habit of using window in package manager okay now if you don't already have game creator um, of course you can purchase using the asset store tab but what I would recommend is getting into the habit of going to unity.com or unity what 3d.com and going into the asset store purchasing it through the actual website and then opening up unity once you made your purchase and coming to the package manager okay now once you're in here uh, what you want to do is uh, go to the top here and where it says all packages you want to click this drop down and go to where it says my assets okay and once you click on my assets it's gonna search and look for all the different assets that you've purchased uh, with your unity account um, and if you're not logged into your unity account I believe it's right here in the top right corner and you want to just go ahead and log into your unity account okay um, but once you do that you can search for the asset here so if we type in game creator it should pop up okay and this is kind of it gives you a bunch of information it tells you which version it is on um, there's some different links the author uh, the last published date and some images and whatnot and of course at the very bottom at the right you're gonna have the option to download and then import so if you've never imported it before or have used it before the first option for you would be download once it downloads then you have to click the button import so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and this is a fresh install of unity uh, URP so I'm going to go ahead and hit the import button so that we can get going okay so once you hit the import button um, you're gonna have some files here just go ahead and hit import on this you want to make sure everything is selected it usually is and just hit import and we're just gonna go ahead and let that load up alright so once that is loaded up you're gonna get a little box just like this and it's gonna say install game creator and so what you want to go ahead and do is just click on this button and uh, it's going to go through preparing the package and doing all the all the smart things that it does and we're just going to wait for that to continue uh, to complete all right so it looks like it has completed and yours may take a little bit of while it all depends on your system um, but uh, this says it's been updated I'm going to go ahead and hit OK all right and so when you hit OK um, every once in a while this is going to happen so uh, just go ahead and hit import again and go ahead and let it do its thing and you just have to go through these processes um, uh, multiple times I'm not sure how this all works we just know how to use it right so let's just go ahead and let it do it and yeah just keep in mind that this part may take a little bit of time it's just gonna go through the whole importing uh, all the different gizmos all the different plugins all the different scripts that make up the foundational part of game creator okay all right so once that is over um, let's go ahead and check a few things I'm gonna go ahead and hit import just to see what it says nothing else to import that's okay so I'm gonna hit okay there and I'm gonna go ahead and close this box just for the moment okay all right and at the very top uh, here in your file uh, menu here just go ahead and hit game creator and just to check it and see that it's there all right that's good so I'm gonna head over to my scene tab and uh, just for some verification we have this little uh, toolbar here as a game creator toolbar and this toolbar is gonna to have all types of different things uh, and we'll talk about that in the future but um, this is just an indication that it is installed and just to do a little test I'm gonna hit this little green create a player icon and uh, let's see what that does okay all right great so it looks like it did pop in our character 
and that is great and that's exactly what we want to see so that means that game creator is indeed installed and ready to go so i'm going ahead and delete this item here from the hierarchy on the left side all right and that's pretty much it for installing game creator there's going to be plenty of other things for us to stall with um, install with game creator but uh, we're going to do it as we need it game creator generally is a foundational product where it has its main part is it has different scripts and components and things that allows you to easily make your game have your character running around um, it's pretty much visual scripting but then they have these modules right and if you've seen any of my other videos you're already familiar with game creator but generally for those who don't know it's basically different modules that allow you to enhance your project so if you need dialogue then you can download the dialogue module or if you need um, a melee function like hitting and attacking type of things um, you can download that and those all are individual cost but they're so it's actually it's the, probably the greatest benefit because the cost isn't so much of it delivers so much for what it you know for what it costs and um, it's definitely worth it you know so um, we'll look into downloading those as we go through the project um, so, but that's it for this video. I just wanted to get us into Unity, get Game Creator installed, and in the next video, I'm going to continue to install um, other software as needed. Okay, so the next video, we're going to work on installing Pro Builder, Pro Grids, and Polybrush. All right, thanks, guys. Hey, guys, thanks for tuning in. For the next set of videos, I'll be releasing one every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. So, to stay up to date on the latest 3D platforming tutorial, feel free to subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support, you can find me on Patreon, or, of course, you can hit me up on Discord. I like to talk about whatever project you guys are working on. Of course, thanks for hanging with me. Your support is always appreciated. As always, remember, never give up and keep moving forward. Peace.